welcome back to our channel I'm Brenda so in today's video I am going to share with you our journey to home ownership sometimes the things that we want the most is not what God has in our best interest and that's our case so this is the home that we initially had plans of purchasing this is the day we saw it online and I just fell head over heels in love with this home um, we knew that we wanted to buy. We needed to purchase a home. We had been renting, um, had been married, what, two years? And I told my husband that when we went and saw this house that this was the home that I wanted. Now, mind you, we didn't pray to God. We just said, God, we want a home. And when we came across this home, we jumped on it. And it was everything we could have asked for. Everything we could have asked for in a home. So fast forward, we are now shopping. We've gotten the home. And now we are actually buying things to furnish our home. We wanted the best things in our home. It may not seem like the best to somebody, but it was to us. It was it was everything. We were on our way. We were doing a lease to purchase this home and we were doing it. We are now here in the home and we're getting all moved in we have all of our boxes we're excited we're ecstatic we're just so thankful that God decided to give us a chance these are just pictures of the home and what the yard looked like and we had our grill out there big Bertha sitting out there Paris our dog we had her house out there and this was the house of our dreams this is what we wanted this is what we believe God had for us. And we were super, super excited. We began to furnish our home. We went to Goodwill. We went to Salvation Army. And here this is um, in our home. And every morning I woke up with these big windows, looking out at the outside, just enjoying our home, um, living the good life getting comfortable in our new home that we were supposed to purchase. So we've already made the offer now, guys, and um, the owner had accepted the offer. And so now we're just beautifying our home, adding things, changing out light fixtures. And this is the look of our home through our AD2 system. Christmas came, we enjoyed our Christmas time. We were ecstatic. I was so excited. I was so in love with this home and so thankful. And gosh, it was beautiful. It was just everything. Nothing could go wrong, now could it? So we thought. And the day came. The seller backed out the day before closing. So now what? What do we do? We called our pastor. And she said, before the sun goes down, I'm going to pray. And you all are going to find your home. And don't you know we did. It was a home that I had previously looked at. That I fell for. But my husband didn't. And God blessed us to buy this purchase. This beautiful home here. It's a custom built home. This home came with two garage doors. A double garage. But you could drive through. <clears throat> you could drive all the way through this garage. It opens up on both sides. The previous owner's had customized this home to fit their needs, not knowing they were actually building it for us. The ceilings in the garage were huge. Tankless water heater, something we didn't even know could exist. The stairs leading into our home in the garage were beautiful. Something we had never seen before. Talk about what God won't do. This was a custom built home that we didn't have to build. If we had to build this home, it would have cost way more than what we purchased it for. Our home came with not only the garage I told you about, tankless water heater, a central vac system, all this crown molding, high ceilings, arches, all kinds of things that I could have never imagined that could exist. When I was praying and asking God, to help us find a home that we could purchase after the, the previous seller backed out. 
I told God that we were looking for our forever home. We weren't trying to buy two, three, and four homes. We wanted just one. And we wanted this house to have everything we could ever need. We don't want to have to purchase again. And that's exactly what God did. He blessed us with our forever home. It may not look like much to some, but to us is everything. And no, 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 no. We do not praise this home as a God. We do not. Now, the funny thing is, God blessed us with this home. And to us, it's our forever home. We're thankful for it. But do you know there are people that knew more, think they know more about our home than we did? When we came in here and we purchased a home, I had never known anything about no farmhouse. I didn't know about um, custom homes. I didn't know about any of that. Um, once we bought the house and I had my house warming, then I began to hear my sisters talk about, oh, you got a, that's a farmhouse. And then I heard one sister say, oh, well, I, want a, I want farmhouse classy. And I didn't even know what they were talking about. All I knew is that God blessed us with our home. We were thankful for it and we were grateful for it. Then I began to hear all this talk about a custom built home and I never knew what that was. God is my witness. I did not know what they meant when they said a custom built home. I do now, but that's not what we were looking for. We were just looking for a place we could call home, something comfortable that would fit our needs. And God gave us this home. So I say all of that to say this, sometimes, God will give you things that you never even, you asked for, but you didn't ask for. We asked for a place we could call home, but God gave us more than that. We asked for a forever home, but he gave us more than that. He gave us a custom built home, something that I guess everybody wants is a custom built home. I don't know because it's not my place to worry about what everybody else wants. It's about what we wanted and God saw our hearts and we he knew we were pure and every day I wake up I ask God to keep me humble keep me humble I do not want to become boastful and bragful or whatever I'm forever grateful because he didn't have to do it but he did he tested us with the first home to get us prepared for this home and I am so grateful to him for that. So guys, you don't have to covet what anyone else has. If you just trust God and wait on God, God will give you what he has for you. You know, sometimes you hear people say, oh, he got this or he got that. Well, I want that too. Or I want this too. Be careful how you say that. Because if you're so busy wanting what I got, the blessing God had for me, What's going to happen to the blessings that God has for you? Because, see, God has each and every one of our blessings set aside. And he has for each individual what he wants them to, to have. And if you're so focused on what he's doing for me and mine, you're missing in, out on what he's doing for you and yours. Yes, our home came with the double garage doors, the high ceilings, the tankless water heater, all of these features that we never probably would have, would have even thought about putting into a home. I never even knew what a central vac system was. When I moved in here, when we bought the house, and I saw these little things that like outlets. I did not know what it was. I had to Google it to figure out what it was. And then I was like, oh, that's what that is. And so I said to my husband, babe, we have this. You know, we need to get the um, attachment that goes into the garage so we can use this stuff, you know. We are so thankful for everything that God has done for us. It's not a day go by that I don't tell God thank you. But I enjoy my home better now because I know that we're not in a lease to purchase. We're actually, we already purchased. We've closed, it's ours. And sometimes you want to have family over and friends over, but I don't want anybody around me that's going to you can't come and enjoy me for worrying about what the house looks like and all these little tedious details. You come here and now you go home and now 
I want this too and I want that too. That doesn't make me feel good. Because when I go and visit you, I don't I don't look at it like that. When I go and visit you, you have a beautiful home and I enjoy your home when I'm there with you. But I don't come back home and say, oh, I wish I had this. I, no, I'm thankful for what God gave me because what God gave me was for me and what he gave you is for you. So be thankful for what you have. Coveting is a dangerous thing to covet what someone else has because then that makes you ungrateful for what you have. I don't want God to think I'm ungrateful for anything he's given me. I want him to know that I'm thankful for everything he's given me. So I'm not worried about what you have. I'm thankful for what he's blessed us with. And if you're still trusting and believing God that you're going to own your home one day, you're going to find the home that you plan to purchase, that you're going to get in a position that you're able to buy, don't quit trusting him. Don't stop believing. He's going to do it. That he's going to do it in his time. If God had blessed me to purchase years ago, I would have lost it. I wasn't ready. And he knew we weren't ready. So he worked on us, taught us, so that when we finally got the home, we would be ready to handle such a responsibility. And I'll say, since we got this home, I have seen so many changes in my husband. This man is building stuff. <laughs> he is growing a garden. He's planting stuff, yard work, things. I mean, wow, he has really just blossomed. And I know it's because he feels good about what we have accomplished with God's help. Right here, guys, I'm showing you our old grill we had. And thankfully, I was able to surprise my husband with a nice big smoker. It's a competition grill, something that he wanted. And I wanted him to have it as well. He was so excited for this thing. Happy 4th of July, you guys. So today, my husband is all dressed. Come close, baby, so we can see your hat. He is out there on that new grill. Did I tell you guys he got his grill? He has a competition grill, you guys. A competition custom-built grill. How do you feel about your grill, baby? <laughs> so in closing, I ask that if you are someone who is always walking around saying, I want what she has. She has this. I want that too. Or he has this. I want that too. It could be a job. It could be a car. It could be a house. It could be someone's husband. Oh, she, he got, who I want him. Got good husband. She got good husband. Be careful. Because if you always want what God gave somebody else, that was their blessing. Then what is God going to do with your blessing? God is holding your blessing for you. Wait on it.